In this lesson, we'll take a closer look at connected properties. Notion lets you integrate with other tools. So even if your knowledge lives elsewhere, you can still view it all in one place. There's lots of ways to bring external information into Notion. Among them are embeds, link previews, sync databases, and the star of our lesson today, connected properties. Connected properties are database properties that represent something from a third party tool like GitHub, Figma, Zendesk, or Google Drive. And since they're properties in a database, they come with special advantages over traditional link previews. Specifically, connected properties contain up-to-date information from the third-party tool. When you update the status of a pull request in GitHub, the status of the related task will update too. Connected properties improve discoverability and organization. And just like any property in a database, you can sort and filter based on connected properties. So you can see every doc related to a specific Figma design, for example. And finally, since these files live alongside other tags and properties, it's easier for team members to get an at-a-glance view of what's going on with any given project. So how do you use these? Let's consider a few examples in our Acme workspace. Remember that these can be added just like any property and that each has its own authentication flows. In this case, they've already been configured. Some of our favorite connected property examples include connecting projects to designs. Here, we link projects in Notion to specific designs in Figma. This allows us to easily access and reference the design files associated with each project. Connecting tasks to pull requests. We have an established connection between tasks in Notion and pull requests in GitHub that enables us to track the progress and status of tasks directly in our Notion workspace. Much more on that here. Connecting docs to Google Slides. By linking documents in Notion to presentation slides, we can easily navigate between the two and ensure that our presentation content is up to date with the latest information from our documents. Finally, we might connect readout docs to Google Sheets to establish a connection between data analysis and spreadsheets. This way, there's an easy path back to the raw data that led to our conclusions. That's about it on using connected properties to bring external information into your workspace and improve organization. Keep exploring and adding connected properties to make your knowledge even more accessible and connected. Mm -hmm.